So in this section, I want to cover off why did Imagine Yourself, the program, why did it get started? Why did I make it? Why did I create it? So here's why. This program got developed because I had a seven-year battle with two bouts of cancer, and it wasn't fun, trust me, but you know that. But then in the middle of that, one of my medical procedures to help me deal with the cancer failed. I get rushed to OR at 11.43 at night, Whew. more stress. And I kept asking the caregivers and the professionals, what do you got to help me cope? And their response was typically, well, we have pain meds, but that's it. And I went, oh, I can do better than that. So there was no skill-based programming to help me or my family cope doing this time of what I call big stuff. And then, she's good now, my daughter at seven had a brain tumor. <sighs> overwhelming, overwhelming. But then I got really calm and said, what did I do to help me cope? So we taught her what I learned in my seven-year battle to the point where two of the staff at the major children's hospital said, calmest child they've ever seen that's this sick. So we've decided to share with what we learned with you to help you cope with life's overwhelming issues or what I call big stuff. Because loss, anxiety, anger, frustration, grief, it's part of life's journey. But, and, if we have the right information, it makes it easier to understand the journey, manage some of the journey, and have safer outcomes. So, today I want to share with you all about what I've learned in this Imagine Yourself program, helping you and yours from 3 to 103 learn skills, understand what you're going through when you're going through loss and grief, to have better quality journey and a better quality outcome. So, I'm Michael Ballard, and welcome to the Imagine Yourself program.